What's up, YouTube? I'm Gordy here. Quite a few things coming out uh, for price updates due to the ban list increase. Um, ban list has gotten a lot of prices spiking up recently, and unfortunately, we all know how these things tend to go. So, a lot of prices being increased. So, triple terror top. Are you looking at like forty-five dollars for a set right now? Uh, because of how crazy Burning Abyss is on this list. Um, you've heard many, many, uh, many jokes um, in formats such as this where Terra Top is just top Terra Top win. Um, pretty much true story. Um, $13, $14 on these. You'll probably be paying $14, um, $15 uh, once these are gone, unfortunately. Um, I definitely know a lot of people <laughs> that have already got their sets for fives before. They went up. But if you don't plan on paying PK Fire, sell them $45 for a play set very easily. Um, very, very, very crucial to the market um, if you're planning on making some quick money. Next up, Ghost Reaper. Uh, you're looking at $29 still uh, for Winter Cherries. Um, you might be able to snipe the 28s here. Uh, but once they're gone, I mean, it's only going up to 30 um, It's a hard counter to the meta. Uh, probably one of the best viable hand traps we have currently in the game. Next up, Labradorite Dragon. This is one of the stupid things I continue to watch. Um, this thing was so cheap. Now it's once these two lightly play ones are gone, you're looking at twelve dollars for level six Dragon Tuner. Next up, Cloak. Uh, Cloak's kind of holding a lot of value. Uh, Six dollars, basically. If you haven't already got your Cloak, I'd recommend picking up your set ASAP. Um, he didn't immediately spike up like Terra Top, but Terra Top's much more important to the combos. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you got these or you're holding on to them, you might want to move them now, or you might want to wait and take your chance. Uh, Lore of Darkness, baseline $10. Uh, ulti still $35. Ultra is $27. Uh, base supers, you're looking at like $9 to $10. Pretty broken. Uh, Dark Magic Circles, still holding their $30 value. Um, no immediate price jump on these. Uh, maybe come regional season, one or two will squeak into top 16, maybe one top 8, but we'll have to wait and see. However, still, for a card that you need three of for the deck, very, very high. Uh, Crystal Wing still holding his value. I think he dropped a dollar um, from his original, what was it, $39 a week ago. So keep that in mind. Crystal Wing still holding a lot of value. Uh, Fog Blade still holding their $5 value as well. Excuse me, $6. Um, pretty much nothing's changed with him, him and Ancient Cloak. Uh, Desire is still holding that $58 value. Uh, still not a lot of them on the market. Um, definitely believe eBay is a cheaper source for this. Uh, next up, Omega. This is ridiculous. Um, any level 8 synchro deck that relies on Omega, this is this is pretty stupid. $55 for a card that Psyframes are required to play 3 of. I don't think anyone's going to be playing Psyframes anytime soon because of the price on this card. Um, this definitely needs a reprint to keep it in check. Uh, next up, Whitestone of Ancients, uh, still thirty or twenty-three dollars. My bad. Um, not really much of an immediate change here. Um, just kind of floating along. Uh, Painful Decision still holding twenty-one dollars. Uh, the reprint comes out for this in less than a few days. So if you got these and you want to quickly snipe sell them, I'd recommend it ASAP. Uh, this is another one. Uh, Shirinui Solitaire, this is an ultra that's kind of creeping up in price, and I know people do love just watching old creepy ultras creep up. So, these things are at $5 minimum, and they are going up. Uh, Brilliant Fusion, $10 still, reprint is less than a week away. Winky face. Solemn Strike, still holding value, $33. Um, very, very, very important. Um, card to a lot of decks, so... I mean, this is one of those ones that you can take the post reprint and see how it affects the market, uh, but we'll definitely have to wait and see how it does. Uh, Card Demise, these were $30 the day of like all the buyouts, and then they just gradually destroyed themselves again in value, so uh, $23 Card Demise is sitting at. I don't think this card really deserves the huge spike price, but it's definitely a good card. Uh, Odd Eyes Fusion, yay, these tanked hella hard. Um, there's a moderately played one for $17. And 
and then the secrets coming in at 20 bucks and then working their way up last but not least there's nothing else to report so guys reprint season is in effect tins drop in less than a week um, there's a lot of cards that are going to be getting a lot of reprints um, we know how the markets tend to work with these kinds of things so if you got something and you want to move it you have a couple of days to do so before the tins do drop so keep that in mind so guys leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think about reprint Caesarino um, new list goes into effect Monday and a lot of goodies so alright guys I'm out peace I hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up this video to show your support and please check out Van Cole 40 for card fight Vanguard M Cole games for miscellaneous trading card games and no limit gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh videos thanks for watching